What's going on beautiful people? Thank you for tuning in once again. Oh man, you guys already know the message. One family, one heart, one love. We're all in this together, guys. We play through this game of life on this planet Earth together as one consciousness experiencing itself individually and subjectively through each one of our characters, right? So I'm ex experiencing this one consciousness through this character, Saeed, and I happen to be in the middle of some pretty nice woods right now and having a pretty good subjective experience of life. So I wanna share that good subjective experience with you guys so you can have a good subjective experience and then we can all have a better experience as one mass of consciousness. So, <laughs> in this video, I want to talk about uh, using words. So, instead of saying I want, to say I have. And I want to emphasize on the importance of words because <sighs> Terence McKenna says something along the lines of the real secret to magic is understanding that the world is made of words. And that if you know the words that the world is made of, you can make of it whatever you wish. In other words, alchemy magic, um, manipulating reality into something you desire. It can be as simple as a word. And it sounds, you know, it really is to the logical mind, this is absurd. It's like, no, 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 but don't you have to have like this and this and this and this happening? It's like, but you can just change your words, your language, and that can have a profound, profound effect on your reality on how you project out into the world the reality that you prefer, right? So, if you keep saying I want, because look, at the, really time is an illusion. Everything is happening in the now, right? Uh, in, take this video for example. Right now I'm on the second minute. I think I used this in the previous video, this analogy, but it's a good analogy, it helps me. You're on the second minute right now. You go back to the first minute. When you go back to the first minute, you're in the now. But when you go to the second minute, you're in the now. When you go to the third minute, you're in the now. The video has already been uploaded. In other words, all possibilities of life, including you, are infinite, have already been simulated. You see? And everything is happening now. So in order for you to get to the place that you prefer, right? So um, I heard Duncan Trussell say the node of the multiverse, which I like. Think of like we're living in a multiverse. It can be as simple as changing the words. So by saying, I want, you're saying, I want right now. Guess what? Your most likely future, because based on the current now, is going to be, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want. But if you say, I have, your most likely future is going to be, I have, I have, I have, I have. And saying, I have, you got to understand that time is an illusion, that you already have it. It's like saying... I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's like saying um, I'm already watching the seventh minute. In a way, you are because that it's already been made. It's there. You know it's there, the seventh minute of this video. In the same way, you say you want, let's say, I don't know, you want to manifest the easiest, simplest thing, $10,000. You say, you say, I have $10,000 because you know you have it. You know if you trust the force then the force takes care of you. We're branches on the tree, right? And the tree is the source. And if you connect with the tree through trusting it and being here in the now and saying, I have, the tree gives you. That's just the way this matrix is designed. Don't, I'm not the fucking programmer. Don't ask me. I don't know. But I do know one thing. Whatever we tend to be in the present moment, we tend to have more of in the future. So instead of saying, I want say I have. Instead of saying I want to be in a loving relationship, say I have a loving relationship. Uh, and when you say I have, that forces your mind to think in the now. Forces your brain to visualize what a good loving relationship looks like, right? When you say I have $10,000, it forces your brain to think of ways to make $10,000 right now, in the moment. You see? So prevent using the word I want. I mean, Fuck for, of course, for just conversation and all of that, right? But even then, like, try to be just, like, careful. You know, if you're trying to consciously change the reality, that is, right? Of course, you're having conversations, you know, you want an ice cream, you know, you're, you're like, I want an ice cream. You know, that's, that's different. 
You know, that's just conversation. That's just like normal fucking everyday shit. But I'm talking if you want to consciously change your reality, if you want to like consciously affect it, in your own mind, be careful. When you're like sitting in your room and saying, I want $10,000. I want a loving relationship. Um, I want to be more confident. Well, guess what? You're going to always be saying want. You can say I want in the beginning, recognize these are the things you want, and now let's move into the now. Let's move into I have. So first you say I want these things. You write them down, and then you say, all right, let's move into the I have. And as long as you stay in that present moment of I have, I am, uh, like you can w watch Conor McGregor's Law of Attraction stuff. Like he, he has a pretty good grip on that stuff, and he uses it to be a successful UFC fighter, and he is. I mean, fuck, he's... He's the biggest UFC fighter right now. Uh, and he says, I, I have. Like, he understands the importance of it. And when he visualizes and he, he says, like, even back in 2008, he would say, I have everything that I have now. So when he actually got the belt, they asked him, how does it feel? He's like, familiar. They asked him when he got the two belts, how does it feel? Familiar. Because in, to him, it's always I have. It's always in the now, right? Uh, I know it's a very difficult thing for us to grasp our heads around, but it's better to think in terms of now because it'll just quicken the thing that you want to manifest as opposed to always being in that state of neediness, that state of want. The universe keeps giving you more of that. It's the way this fucking matrix is programmed. It's the way it works. You know, we got to deal with it one way or another. Okay? So, and this is one of the ways, using language. So, stop saying I want, start saying I have. Check out my book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life Inside and Outside the Gym. Uh, link in the description, in the comments as well. I love you guys. Love every single one of you. But don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.